Hello and welcome back to the channel. I had really big plans for autumn and autumn has pretty much come to an end. I think sometimes when you plan stuff, I've certainly found when I've been vlogging and doing photography, when you plan stuff it doesn't always come off. So it's a little bit better to be spontaneous. But today I've, I've set aside a couple of hours to come down to my local park where I've been before and I've vlogged that before. And autumn is certainly on the way out. Winter is coming in those illustrious John Snow words. So I've come down to try and capture just the end of it before it disappears. I think I had, with those vast plans that I had, I wanted to go to the lakes. I knew what I wanted to shoot and where I wanted to shoot it, but it, it hasn't worked. So instead of looking at the huge landscapes, I'm going to look a little bit more intimately so let's have a look around the local park with a closer eye, focus on some detail and see what we can find, capture and create. Right, so I've just taken my first shot. I'd set up and the light was just perfect and I didn't want that light to extinguish and vanish away. So I grabbed the shot without talking to you guys. But the shot is basically some autumnal leaves in the water, in this water down here. You can see it behind me. And my idea when I get back to the computer, I want to try and make that water even darker, like almost black. So the oranges and the autumnal colors really pop against that sort of black murky water which is kind of is already murky but i want to make more of those blacks so hopefully this one will look all right I hope you enjoyed that shot. There's a few more shots that I'm going to put up in a minute around this little pond area. I think maybe I've been a little bit worried that autumn was finishing too quickly, but it has, the season has sped through really fast so far. And as I said, I haven't managed to get up to the lakes or anything like that, but I don't think you have to. I really want to shoot more locally and I've been saying that for ages and it's hard to do so because as I've said in other videos, it's always there your local park your local woodland is always there and sometimes you can get a bit more animated about traveling and having a bit more of a travel experience maybe like a travel vlog or something but shooting locally is fantastic there's still color here in this park and the images i've just taken which i'll put up in a minute they're they're not award-winning by any by any extent but they're just capturing intimate autumn which is what this vlog is all about it's exactly what i wanted so i'm just gonna basically just sort of fire off more shots see what i can find see what's capturing my eyes see what the lights bringing to life and yeah hopefully this vlog will be more images than talking but that's probably a good thing sometimes i'm gonna head down i think i've kind of done most of this pond area this water zone i'm gonna head back out that way see if there's anything else on the way out and then head down towards this little beck little brook that runs along the edge of the park there's a little waterfall there i'm hoping maybe another leaf shot orangey leaf shot with some running water around it this time instead of the still images that i've captured here and then i'm going to head to my favorite trees which i've taken a few times and see what they're looking like in this late autumn season Thank you. 
Okay, so I've wandered from where I was down to the brook area, and it's actually, if you look over there, there's a bridge which I stood on, and this is the area where I shot my first ever vlog, which had terrible audio issues, but if you want to go back and watch that and see where we've started and where we've got to, then you're more than welcome to have a look. Anyway, I've just taken a few different shots. I've tried to be a little bit abstract. Through there, there's a mini waterfall, and I've tried to capture some leaves coming over it and being perched on the top of it. There was one halfway down on the other side of the river, brook, whatever it is, and it was stuck on the wall. So I tried to get the water sort of lined up and then this beautiful autumn leaf by itself. So a bit of abstract stuff. And then I've come down just slightly away from it, off the beaten track slightly, and there's these two tree stumps or it might be one tree stump but two stumps coming off it and they're just being lit up beautifully from the sky behind me and i've got this shot i'll show you it on the back of the camera it looks pretty good i think if you can see it let me shade it so you can see it a bit something like that and it looks quite completely otherworldly it's shadowy it's dark the oranges and there's a few greens in there leading you up to the the moss and the the tree stumps themselves they look a bit weird and a bit creepy so i'm quite happy with this one it's just something that grabbed my attention and the light was just just touching it when i first saw it and now it's lighting up that little bit more so i'm going to take a few different pictures here i've gone landscape and i have gone portrait i think portrait works better as it leads you up to it but i'll pop a few more of these shots that i've captured so far up for you now. So the final stop of the day is my trio of trees that I've taken pictures at before, or taken pictures of before, and they are probably the most beautiful colour in the entire park. Just take a look at that behind me. Absolutely incredible colour. I'm just not sure how to shoot it. Intimate isn't going to work here because I'd want all three trees like I have done previously, but. Just to see them in this beautiful orangey it's not it's not even orange it's more it's more of a brown it's like a light brown and the sun is just lighting it up it's absolutely beautiful as i say i'm not sure how i'm going to shoot it completely different conditions to when i've found this and enjoyed shooting it before but even if i don't get a decent shot it's just lovely to see the life of these trees because i've I've put a little bit of effort into keeping an eye on them and this is the first autumn that I've seen them and this is what they're like, it's absolutely beautiful. So yeah, if I can get a shot, I'll try and get a shot. I'll put up some more pictures that I've taken on the way over here 
and I think there's a shot down this way as well sort of an into the woods autumnally shot with the light beaming through so we'll see if I can get that but to start with I'm going to try and get a shot of this tree even if it's just to keep even if it's not decent photography standard at all I'm just going to try and get something of these trees look at that beautiful Okay, so I've got a shot of this tree that I think I'm quite happy with. It doesn't look incredible, but I think with a little bit of tweaking, when I get back to the computer, it might stand out. There's a few, there's the um, placard bits and pieces which I want to try and clone out because it's a bit distracting against what is otherwise a beautiful tree. But I think that's it for today. The, the sun has gone behind the clouds. The clouds rolled in, which they weren't there this morning. So. I think that's a subtle hint for me to go home. I'm going to get a brew on the way back. And yeah, stick around for this picture at the end. Thanks ever so much for joining me, as always. And if you haven't subscribed, please do consider subscribing. I'm not sure what else I'll be getting up to this winter, but next January and into 2020, there should be hopefully a lot more content coming on this channel. Now life will hopefully calm down that little bit. So yeah. Stick around for the picture and I'll see you on the next one. Stay safe. I'll see you soon.